other thing I want to do and put on the side is one of those little cute little golf hats, um, those old fashioned golf hats that they used to wear. So I just have a very, very small cake, it's just a little uh, five inch cake. And what I need to do is cut this down at an angle because the back of the cap is usually a little bit um, taller. And I'm going to just take this and cut down. Okay, so I could probably use that for something else. Not a very nice cut, huh? Let me try that, even that out just a little bit more there. Okay, throw that away. Um, now, it's not perfectly round like that, so what I need to do is, um, if I kind of come over to the edge so my knife can kind of come over a little bit, is actually kind of round this down. Round that down a little bit there. And probably kind of thin that out just a little bit there. Now I just need to lightly um, ice this with a buttercream, and I'm just using a regular white buttercream this time. Put that away and take my little piece of acetate and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. I still wanted to kind of be in the brown tones, so what I did is I took some more of the um, white fondant and a tiny bit of the chocolate fondant to make this uh, tannish, kind of taupey color. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to roll this out, but I didn't want it to be a plain hat. I wanted it to have some stripes. So I'm going to make the stripes in a, a little bit darker brown. Okay, and then this is the lighter brown fondant that we were using. So I want these to be the stripes, so I need to kind of roll this out in a strip. Okay, now I want to cut strips. So you could just use a pizza cutter, cut little strips. I have this, which is a like an herb mincer, which I love. I just pick up gadgets whenever I think, you know, I've never used this on herbs, but fondant. Heck yeah, I'd use it on fondant. So push it down, cut, makes even strips. Just got it at a kitchen store. Take our strips. Flip it over, tiny bit of water on the back, not a lot. So I kind of put some on there, use your finger to kind of spread it out so it's not too much. Okay, when you get to this point, then what you want to do is go ahead and start from the center and lightly, very lightly roll this way. If you push too hard, then they'll go all out of, out of shape. And then lightly this way. Same thing, go in the center lightly that way, come back this way. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is lift this up. Over and place that right over the top. Now don't get rid of this. I made some extra because we need it. Uh, so I need to save that and just trim around here. Okay, that's easy to pick it up with a knife or spatula or whatever. Tuck that under. Now the front part of the hat usually has another part to it. So that's why we save this. Bring it over here. We'll just take a little bit of water. So it's like a little, the brim of the hat. It's usually just kind of in the front area there. So place that on. And it usually doesn't come out too much. So you can right about there. And then cut in so it goes in. So I'll just put a tiny bit of buttercream there. Lift it up, probably with a spatula would be a good idea. Mm -hmm.